Yes, there we go. Mike, I'm not sure if you've uh, heard uh, a lot of that, but it is a concern, is it not, that banks can shut somebody down if they don't support a particular political group or a particular set of ideological views? Yes, it is a big problem. I've been having some technical problems at this end, so I've come in rather late, so apologies. But, uh, of course, it's absolutely wrong. I mean, banks are like utilities. They're like the electricity company or the phone company. And for a bank to say, well, we don't like your views, it doesn't happen to fit in with us, so we're going to take you off our account and just uh, throw you away. And it's not just in the case of Nigel Farage Coots. He originally then couldn't get a bank account with NatWest or with numerous other banks as well, a sort of cartel of political correctness. And incidentally, by the way, I know Nigel Farage, and uh, one thing he is not is anti-migrants or anti-immigration. He just wants controlled immigration, but that's not the point. But what is the point is that Coots then said, well, actually, you know, we got rid of Nigel Farage because he wasn't rich enough for us. And then it turns out that actually he has got money and finance wasn't the issue. And I think Alison okay. Rose has got to really make a proper apology, give him his account back at Coots and explain how this political correct nonsense came about. It's utterly wrong for a bank or a building society or, as I say, the electricity company to say, okay. well, because we don't like your views, we're going to cut you off.